Hey, what's up? This is Phil Ebner with Video School Online bringing you another video in the Make Better Video series. Today we're talking about recording better sound. We've talked about how to choose a better topic, better pre-production practices, and shooting better video. And today we're moving on to sound. Uh, so if you want to follow along on the blog, I have a great article up. So check it out at videoschoolonline.com. If not, just keep watching. And just, I wanted to mention before uh, we get into the audio, uh, I should have mentioned it before all of these. Um, all these tips are kind of really quick and easy tips that you can do. I don't go in depth that much into uh, specific practices. Uh, for example, specific settings on your camera or specific, uh, very specific microphones to use or microphone placement. All of that's going to come in the future uh, on the site, videoschoolonline.com. Uh, but for now, this video series is just to get you started. So if you're a video maker, you might not get a lot from this video already, but if you're just starting out, that's what this video is for you. Uh, that's what this video is uh, for. It's for you guys who are just starting out and just need a little bit of inspiration a little, and a little bit of knowledge to get your foot out the door uh, into the world of filmmaking. So let's move on to recording better sound. Tip number one out of three, use a microphone. This uh, th shouldn't need to be said, and if you've ever looked at any uh, recording sound or better audio for video, this is the number one thing you'll always read is to use the microphone. Uh, you, it's hard to get away with uh, using the on-camera mic, uh, and uh, I mean, I mean, except right now, I'm using my uh, MacBook Pro. I'm recording the audio through the computer microphone, but really I should be using uh, either a lavalier or a shotgun microphone to uh, get better sound. But uh, for pr more professional videos that you're going to be using um, for your business website, that isn't just a quick YouTube tutorial or something super fast, uh, on the fly, you're going to want to use a microphone. So there's a few different types of microphones that I'll go through really quick. So there's the boom mic, which is also known as a shotgun microphone. Uh, and that's, you know, the long one that you put at the end of a boom pole and you basically point it towards whoever's mouth and you can like set it up on a microphone stand uh, and, or you can have a boom operator standing with your your microphone and this is great because uh, these microphones are can be very directional so uh, it only picks up audio directly where you're pointing uh, the microphone and uh, but the pro the one thing is that these microphones can cost a pretty penny some of the nice Sennheiser microphones can cost thousands of dollars uh, but to start out you could get one off of Amazon or eBay for you know 20 30 bucks that will get the job done uh, better than the on-camera microphone uh, we also got lavalier microphones which are the clip-on microphones or also known as lapel mics they're the ones that clip on you can get wired ones or wireless ones uh, so some of these are able to plug straight into your camera if you have uh, a lavalier that has a mini jack to your camera's mini jack or if you have XLR cable or an XLR in to your camera or you know with the XLR cables from the microphone uh, or you might have to record on a separate recording device like uh, Zoom H4n or a Tascam you know Tascam type recording device uh, so that's the lavalier and th those are great for picking up uh, interviews or people talking and it's pretty easy to hide the microphones underneath like a short shirt collar or something like that. Uh, so that's another good option. And then the last option um, is actually the Zoom H4n or other similar recording devices that have microphones built into them. Uh, for example, the Zoom is a great microphone that a lot of documentary makers uh, use. Uh, because you can just bring it on location, you can plug a lavalier microphone into it if you want, or you can just use it as a microphone to pick up really great sound uh, as well. So those are the three types of microphones uh, that could get you started. And 
Uh, the bottom line is pick up whatever you can afford. Um, go on Amazon and you can get some great uh, little microphones for under 100 bucks. So that's tip number one, use a microphone. Tip number two, listen to your surroundings. So when you go out and shoot, just take a moment to listen uh, to what's happening. Uh, is there a lot of crowd noise? Are there cars honking or going by? Are you at a beach you know, where there's a lot of wind? Uh, is there a fountain nearby? And if possible, you know, get away from that noise. If you're inside and the air conditioner is blowing, turn off the air conditioner for that amount of time. Uh, or if you are in an office, just close the door to make sure that no extra sounds are going to be coming in and being recorded onto your video because audio is very, very important, just as important as video. A lot of people uh, think video is you know, all about what you see on the screen, but it's just as much what you hear as well. And having bad audio is the first thing that will turn your viewers away from your video and they'll hit the next button. Uh, so listen to your surroundings. Um, if you're in a location where you just can't get away from the sound, just you know turn at le the very least turn away from the sound. So if you're you know shooting near a fountain, don't shoot with the fountain you know in the background where you're facing the microphone at the at the the fountain. Even though that might be a pretty shot, well you're you're probably gonna want to turn away from the fountain so that the microphone's not facing that that loud noise. Um, uh, but at the same time, maybe you want to uh, give a little bit of the environment. So if you are, if you have a fountain or if you're, you know, in the city, uh, maybe it'll be weird uh, shooting, you know, this video of an interview with a guy and you hear this fountain in the background. It might make more sense to shoot with the fountain in the background. But if you do that, make sure you're far enough, as far as possible away from the sound so that you're not picking up the audio too much. Uh, and it's not competing with the levels of whoever's speaking. So that brings me to my last tip, and that's bring headphones. Uh, it's easy to you know hear with your two ears what's going on, but you truly don't know what's actually being recorded until you put those headphones in. Uh, make sure that helps you set the levels of your audio if you're using a recording device or on your camera, if you can change the levels through that. Um, so. I've been on location so many times shooting and you know I'm either shooting with the and listening to the the audio as well or someone else is listening to the audio and I catch something that the director doesn't even catch uh, like you know a plane going overhead or you know there's someone slammed a door in the background or something and those are things that you might not notice if you're doing an interview and engaging with your interviewee but if you're focused on the audio with your headphones in, that's something that you'll notice and you'll know when to like do a retake or uh, something like that. So those are the three tips. Use a microphone, number one, listen to your surroundings, and three, bring headphones. Thank you for watching. Check out the website, www.videoschoolonline.com for more tips and tricks. Lots of great resources there and online courses right now. If you sign up for the, the website, subscribe, you will get 50% off all of my online courses right now, ranging from how to uh, a kinetic typography crash course to video editing 101, uh, green screen editing, and more. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next lesson. Have a great day.